Did you ever wonder why you are getting the voltage warnings or the lightning bolt on your Raspberry Pi? As you can see, I like game related items. I even have a YouTube channel dedicated to game related videos that you're watching this video on right now. Out of these five units, two are the NES and SNES Classic, which came with a five volt USB 1.5 amp power block. The other three are Raspberry Pi 3B Pluses in various gaming cases, which of course the link to buy these cases will be in the description. When they built these cases, they really came a long ways from where they first started out. Uh, now they reroute the USB and items like that just to uh, give it more of a realistic look. But that's not what this video is about, so I'll move on. I found when I run any USB power block at anything less than 5 volts with 2 amps, I get a low voltage warning on the left and the warning symbol of the lightning bolt on the right. This has caused me to have random reboots and have warnings pop up blocking areas I'm typing when doing configurations, such as areas like the Wi-Fi password, which is a huge pain when that happens, uh, none of which can be very healthy for the system. I had two USB blocks, one being a Samsung 5.3 volt 2 amp and my Alexa Dot uh, Amazon power block with 5.2 volts with 1.8 amps. Uh, those worked great. Um, but since these are for other items, I decided to purchase a dedicated power supply and try it out. I picked up a Canakit 5 volt 2.5 amp power supply that was recommended to work with the Raspberry Pi 3 B+. When I turned the unit on, I received no errors or warnings. The lightning bolt was gone and I was able to play for a while without any reboots. The case that I was using to test with is also running a small fan, which is connected to the 5 volt and one of the ground GPI opens. This has very little draw on the power, but should still be pointed out that it did handle the above normal power draw. I am not overclocking my Raspberry Pi. Everything is a standard setting, but I did want to mention the fan is in there. As for me, the Canna Kit worked perfectly and I'm glad I purchased it. If you like this video and would like to see more in this format, please like and subscribe. If you are interested in any of the cases or the power supply, follow the links in the description.